Okay. A lot of people often ask me what I consider to be the best overall diet for health, fitness, uh, maintaining lower body fat levels, promoting longevity. Well, there's one diet that stands above the rest for all of those factors. And that diet is, and Bruno's going to say it. Bruno, what is the diet? Tell everybody. What? The Mediterranean style of eating? You got it. Bruno's right. You get a cookie, Bruno. Okay, take care. All right. <laughs> so that's Bruno the Wonder Dog. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to talk about the Mediterranean diet. Uh, I'm going to just give an overview of the diet because there's a lot of details involved in this diet that requires a lot more explanation than I could provide in, in, uh, in a short video. So I'm going to include a, uh, a very in-depth feature about the Mediterranean diet in an upcoming issue of, uh, of my Applied Metabolics newsletter uh, because there's been a lot of new information about the Mediterranean diet. Uh, and I think that you'll find that article extremely interesting. Uh, and, you, and I'll tell you how you can subscribe at the end of the video. But let's right now get into the Mediterranean diet. Why is it called the Mediterranean diet? Because it's a style of eating that's uh, been popular for God knows how long in, in several Mediterranean countries, uh, which uh, if you have a uh, problem with geography like President Trump, uh, the Mediterranean countries are countries that border the Mediterranean Sea, uh, such as uh, you know Spain, France, Italy, Greece. These, have, these uh, particular countries, the people have been eating a certain style of uh, diet, if you want to call it that, for a long time, and they show uh, lower rates of cardiovascular disease, cancer, and a lot of degenerative diseases. Uh, in fact, researchers noticed that people in these countries had lower rates of chronic disease compared with those in the United States and Northern Europe, and they attributed it to their unique dietary pattern. The comp key components of the Mediterranean diet include healthy fats like omega-3 fatty acids, as found in fatty fish, fruits, fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, or beans, whole grains, unprocessed whole grains, and also uh, extra virgin olive oil is a very key component. Uh, there's elements in extra, I, I've talked about this in previous video, videos, uh, in, the, in the fact that extra virgin olive oil contains uh, very powerful nutritional elements that are found only in the extra virgin olive oil, various polyphenols, uh, polyphenol compounds, and uh, this is a key component of why the uh, uh, the uh, Mediterranean diet is so healthy. However, it takes more than extra virgin olive oil. It's the entire style of eating that makes the Mediterranean, Mediterranean style. I'm going to call it the med style of eating because saying Mediterranean is kind of a jaw breaker. So I'm going to call it the med style of eating for the rest of the video, if you don't mind. Uh, it, uh, although the med style of eating focused primarily on plant foods, they do, you can eat other types of foods like small amounts of poultry, seafood, eggs, and dairy. You can, if you eat them in moderation, you don't want to eat a lot of those things. But what you don't want to eat is processed foods like added sugars, refined grains, sugar-sweetened beverages. All of them should be avoided, but that goes that holds true for any diet. You shouldn't be eating that crap on any diet if you really want to stay healthy and avoid disease. Some studies indicate that consuming the Mediterranean style of eating can promote weight loss. Uh, even though it has a has a pretty good amount of carbohydrates, but it's the fats are moderate in fat, and it doesn't have a lot of saturated fat for those reasons. Especially if you combine it with exercise, Mediterranean diet can help you maintain a lower body fat level. For example, a 216 review of five weight loss studies found that it was that the Mediterranean diet was as effective as other popular weight loss diets, including low carb diets, and it could lead to an average 22 pound weight loss in a year. A 2018 review in the journal Nutrition and Diabetes examined the effects of the Mediterranean diet in 32,000 people and found that the Mediterranean diet was associated with a lower risk of weight gain over a period of five years. The thing about the Mediterranean diet that's really great is that it, it, it has such a large variety of natural unprocessed foods that you don't really need to take a lot of food supplements on this diet because it comes close to being a, a, a perfectly balanced diet. Might be a little bit weak in calcium and vitamin D, and you know, but and maybe vitamin E. But for the rest of the nutrients, you're getting a good supply. Now, that's another feature of the Mediterranean diet. 
The Mediterranean diet also is good for maintaining cardiovascular health. A 2006 study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine found that following the Mediterranean diet for three months resulted in improvements in blood cholesterol and blood pressure, systolic blood pressure levels. And a recent review of 41 previous studies found that consuming a, med a Mediterranean diet was associated with a lower risk of stroke and heart disease in diabetics. Now, stroke and heart disease are two very uh, common complications of type 2 diabetes. My father was a type 2 diabetic. He died of cardiovascular complications. In, case, in his case, it was congestive heart failure from having uh, diabetes for many years. So cardiovascular disease is a major problem among di type 2 diabetics. Speaking of diabetes, research shows that the Mediterranean diet can offer protection against the onset of diabetes, can actually protect you from uh, acquiring or diabetes. A 2011 study published in the journal Diabetes Care that included 418 people found that those who followed a Mediterranean diet were 52% less likely to develop type 2 diabetes over an average of four years compared to, with a control group that didn't follow the uh, Mediterranean diet. Another study published in the journal Diabetic Medicine featured 901 people with diabetes and found that when they consumed the Mediterranean diet, they showed better control of blood glucose levels and also had better hemoglobin A1C, which is a uh, measure of long-term glucose control. Uh, in other words, the, lo the lower your uh, hemoglobin A1C, the less, uh, the better control of glucose over an extended period, I should say. Other studies show that the Mediterranean diet uh, helps to prevent diabetes by uh, exerting greater control on insulin release. And that's another reason why you can uh, you would also have lower body fat levels while uh, consuming a Mediterranean diet because you have much better control. You don't get these wide, uh, uh, you know, all, all, wide release of, uh, of, uh, of insulin. Uh, too much insulin promotes, uh, especially in, in the presence of uh, uh, more calories than you burn, it promotes body fat accretion. So you get better control of insulin when you're on the Mediterranean diet. The Mediterranean diet is the only diet other than caloric restriction that may extend lifespan. Uh, now, I should, I should point out that the, uh, the idea that caloric restriction, which involves uh, reducing your total calories by at least 30% of what you normally eat, uh, it's been shown in various animal species to extend life. Uh, in humans, uh, there's actually no proof of it, uh, and there's been recent indications that the uh, calorie restriction diet, uh, which is followed by a lot of humans, even though there's no evidence for it, uh, unfortunately, some recent animal studies show that it doesn't work in older animals. So, you know, if you start a caloric restriction diet when you're, let's say, over 40, it's not going to, it's probably not going to do anything to extend your life, but you will be hungry and you will be skinny. So if you are interested in, in possible life extension from any kind of nutrition plan, my suggestion would be to use the uh, or to uh, consume a Mediterranean diet, you have much greater chance of living longer because all the, all the nutrients and antioxidants and, uh, and the general health nature of the diet. And, and again, one of the main reasons why the Mediterranean diet will help extend lifespan has to do with lowering systemic inflammation. Systemic inflammation is at the heart of many degenerative diseases, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, and brain degeneration. And you want to control systemic inflammation. One of the greatest benefits of exercise is that it actually lowers systemic inflammation, and so does the Mediterranean diet. A 2018 study in the journal Nutrients of 598 people found that the Mediterranean diet lowered several markers of inflammation in the body. One of them is, for example, C-reactive protein, which is a marker of uh, generalized inflammation somewhere in the body. And there's others, uh, there's various interleukins, inflammatory markers. All of these are lowered by the Mediterranean diet. A 2017 study showed that following the Mediterranean diet for three to five years was closely associated with lower systemic inflammation. In other words, the longer you stay on this diet, the lower your systemic inflammation and, and the likelihood of greater lifespan. So what can you eat? Okay, let's do a general overview. I've talked now about some of the uh, attributes and benefits of the Mediterranean diet. What exactly can you eat? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just re read off a list of some of the foods. Uh, here's some of the foods that you can eat on the Mediterranean diet. 
You can have various fruits, including apples, oranges, strawberries, kiwi, melon, blueberry. Blueberries, oh boy, blueberries are especially healthy. I, I've done uh, articles on blueberries. Uh, when I first researched blueberries, gee, uh, well over maybe 15 years ago, I, had, I wasn't eating blueberries at the time, but I was so impressed by the research. I remember one item that I found was that when you give uh, uh, blueberries to animals, it reverses brain aging. So the equivalent of a 65-year-old human having the brain of an 18-year-old. And that was all it took when I read that. I started eat, adding blueberries to my protein drink, and I've been doing it ever since. Blueberries are one of the healthiest foods you can eat. So definitely eat blueberries when you're on a Mediterranean diet. You can also have pears, peaches, and apricots. As for vegetables, spinach, arugula, broccoli, cauliflower, onions, zucchini, asparagus, kale, potatoes. The, the healthiest, uh, I will say that the healthiest vegetables you can eat are cruciferous vegetables, such as kale, broccoli, arugula, uh, uh, and Brussels sprouts, these things have uh, elements in it that are found in no other vegetables that are tremendously healthy. I'm going to have an article on that also in my Applied Metabolics. It's amazing. Among the uh, uh, elements in these uh, cruciferous, cruciferous vegetables is something called sulfara, uh, sulforaphane. Actually, glucophanin is what's found in the vegetables. It's converted by an enzyme found in the vegetables called myrosinase into sulforaphane. <laughs> For those of you who are into bodybuilding might be interested to know that sulforaphane, among its many, many health attributes, it, it also it, it blocks or blunts the release of myostatin, which prevents muscle growth. So <laughs> anyone who's interested in building muscle really should be eating these cruciferous, cruciferous vegetables. And of course, they're allowed on the, uh, on the Mediterranean diet. Spinach, by the way, is an often overlooked vegetable, but, how, but it is... Uh, red spinach is a form of uh, spinach called red spinach, which also has been shown to have anabolic properties. Spinach contains elements that have potent appetite-suppressing effects, which allow you to stay in a diet more easier. And also, spinach is high in nitrates, just like beetroot juice, which will convert into nitrites in the body, which will then convert into nitric oxide and increase oxygen delivery to muscles and help you train harder. Now legumes, so you uh, you can eat uh, legumes on or legumes on <laughs> on a Mediterranean diet, such as chickpeas, lentils, beans, peanuts. You can have whole grains on the Mediterranean diet: quino quinoa, couscous, millet, oats, brown rice, buckwheat, whole grain pasta, farro. I'm not sure what farro is. Maybe somebody could leave it in the comments. I don't know what farro is, but I guess it's some sort of whole grain. You can also have nuts and seeds, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, chia seeds, flax seeds. Hazel oh, by the way, flax seeds contain uh, elements in it which uh, actually lower estrogen. Uh, it also contains uh, uh, a, a element that helps control blood glucose levels. Hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, sunflower seeds, these all, all are, are allowed on the Mediterranean diet. Uh, 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 you can have uh, for poultry, you can have chicken, turkey, goose, duck. You can have seafood, salmon, tuna, trout, mackerel, anchovies, sardines, mussels. You can have eggs, egg yolks and egg whites. I recommend, as you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I only recommend egg yolks. I'm, I'm sorry, whole eggs. The idea of eating egg whites is absolutely nonsensical from a scientific point of view. Most of the nutrients found in the egg are found in the egg yolk. They recently came out with a study showing that the choline content, choline is a very important nutrient for the brain. Also, it's a substrate for acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter at the mild neural junction that helps you contract your muscles. The choline found in the eggs is the most bioavailable form of choline you could find. No supplement that you can take will be better than the choline found naturally in egg yolks. So only eat egg yolks. Forget the nonsense. I know a lot of you won't listen to this. Egg whites, it's ridiculous. It makes no sense at all. You can have dairy. You can have cheese, yogurt, milk. On, this is all on the uh, Mediterranean diet. You, you can have healthy fats. Healthy fats are extra virgin olive oil, avocados, uh, olives themselves, avocado oil. Those are all healthy fats. Of course, fish oil, if you don't want to eat fish, is very good. 
You can have various herbs and spices on the uh, Mediterranean diet, including basil, oregano, thyme, rosemary. Rosemary, by the way, is particularly good for the brain. Uh, some studies have shown that rosemary actually uh, actually protects the brain from aging. They, they actually have supplements now that isolate some of the polyphenol, phenolics, and rosemary. Uh, you know, uh, they have a, a special uh, form of, of rosemary uh, that you can give to children. It's called Rosemary's Baby. That, now, that was, a that was just a joke, just a, just a joke. <laughs> but you can also have pepper. Turmeric, garlic, cinnamon. Cinnamon is really good for blood glucose control. Also, so there's elements in uh, cinnamon, c cinnamon, cinnamon that help to prevent uh, Alzheimer's disease. Uh, you notice I pointed to my own head. I'm not trying to say I have Alzheimer's. Um, that's where the brain is. And for the, you know, the, those of you who don't know anatomy, coriander you can also have. Uh, beverages you can have water on the Mediterranean diet. Drink water, coffee, tea, red wine. Limit the red wine to one to glue glass, one to two glasses a year. Uh, one of the uh, early uh, the early studies of the Mediterranean diet they tried to attribute uh, the health effects of the Mediterranean diet largely to two elements. One was extra virgin olive oil because of the antioxidant content I mentioned. The other was the red wine uh, consumption that's common in the Mediterranean countries. A lot of Italian people have red wine with every meal. Greeks too. Uh, red wine has a couple of antioxidants, antioxidants including quercetin and resveratrol. And re they made a really big deal about the resveratrol content of uh, red wine. However, you know, to get the uh, amount of resveratrol that would actually impart health benefits, you'd have to drink about a thousand bottles of red wine, and you'd be in far more trouble doing that than from any benefit that you'd get from the resveratrol. From the alcohol, uh, it would actually kill you. So. You want to limit the red wine intake to one to two glasses a day, no more than that. What foods do you want to avoid on the Mediterranean diet? All processed meats, bacon, salami, sausage, hot dog, junk. All, this is the kind of red meat, by the way, that studies show is associated with colon cancer. Regular fresh red meat beef is not, and I repeat, not associated with colon cancer. Processed meats, the ones I just mentioned, bacon, salami, sausage, hot dog, those are associated with colon cancer, just to clarify that. You don't want to have any refined grains on the Mediterranean diet. That means no white bread, no crackers, no biscuits, no white pasta, no flour tortillas, no white rice. You want to avoid sugar-sweetened beverages like juice, soda, energy drinks, sports drinks that have sugar in it. You want to avoid refined oils, vegetable oils, soybean oils, crap, canola oils, crap. Corn oil is loaded with omega-6. It will make your increase systemic inflammation. Same with safflower oil. Keep away from that stuff if you have any kind of inflammation in your body because it's very high in omega-6 fatty acids which promote infl inflammation. Uh, actually, they don't. It, I, should, I should amend that. I'm going to be having an article on my applied metabolics. There's a lot of mistaken notions about omega-6. One of them is that it, it increases systemic inflammation. That's only partially true. I'm going to explain why in my article. And it's very interesting. Very few people know this. It's going to be in my Applied Metabolics newsletter. Of course, you want to avoid processed foods on the Mediterranean diet. You know, that means fast food, chips, convenience meals, microwave popcorn. Microwave popcorn, a lot of them contain a chemical, uh, which is extremely unhealthy, by the way. Pretzels. You want to avoid added sugar, table sugar, ice cream, candies, cookies, baked goods, ice cream. So let me just sum it all up by saying that I consider the Mediterranean diet the best year-round diet for those seeking maximum health, protection against disease, body fat control, and extended lifespan. And again, I'm going to have a lot more about the Mediterranean diet, including a lot of material that I couldn't include in this video because it's coming up to the 20 minute mark I'm going to try and round it up here uh, you know again you know most people's attention spans uh, last anywhere between 18 and 20 minutes so I'm trying to adhere to that uh, if this video was still too long for you well you have attention deficit disorder anyway that's another story so that's about it if you want to have the best information you can ever find on nutrition exercise science <coughs> food supplements which ones work which ones don't hormonal therapy ergogenic aids, anti-aging research, fat loss techniques that really work, uh, women's health and fitness, 
women's health and fitness, and much more. Subscribe today to my Applied Metabolics newsletter, www.appliedmetabolics.com. And when you when you subscribe, I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page, where each day I post new information on nutrition, exercise science, and general health and medicine. Uh, I also have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics uh, site, where you where it's current subscribers only can send me questions, and I'll be happy to answer only current subscribers. I don't answer unsolicited questions. Same with these comments under the video. You're welcome to leave comments, suggestions for future videos, but uh, the, I, I really don't have a lot of time to answer a lot of questions. I may or may not answer some questions, but it's not guaranteed. The only guarantee you have would be if you are, are a subscriber to my Applied Metabolics newsletter. Uh, but you're welcome to leave any comments you want under the videos. And uh, if you want to have the best friend you ever had, you saw my best friend at the beginning of this video, Bruno the Wonder Dog. Uh, I call him Bruno because uh, when I first got him, you know, this he weighed eight pounds, and he used to go after uh, what ninety pound pit bulls. <laughs> he was absolutely fearless. So I called him Bruno the Bodyguard. Now you know how he got his name. He's my best friend, and you can have a best friend too. Go to your local shelter. Adopt a dog. They're the most loyal creatures. Like I said in past videos, people in your life will leave you. I mean, whether it's through death or divorce or just, you know, girlfriends dumping you or boyfriend, whatever, your dog will always be loyal. He doesn't care what you look like, how you live, who you are. Your dog lives for you. So go. you want to have a best friend, go to your local shelter. Adopt a dog. Take care. Thanks for listening.